In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to recover deleted files. Now, if we're talking about deleted files that you may have accidentally deleted um, or emptied the recycle bin or you reformatted a hard drive or a thumb drive or an SD card and now you want to get those files back. Um, so the way that the way that's done is is you got to use some type of software to recover the data. There's software that can actually look in your computer um, differently than you can say in Windows Explorer and it can and can actually dig and find those files for you. One of the keys to recovering files is you, you need to do it as soon as possible because the more time goes by the less likely those files are going to be available uh, to be recovered. So if you're you know getting into weeks and months um, you know you're going to be installing uh, new software, uninstalling software, you're going to be adding files, deleting files, and the more that activity that goes on, the more likely that those files um, are going to be overwritten and will not be able to be recovered. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the link below this video and go ahead and download the software. Um, it's, it's, uh, you can see it on my screen and what it is, is it's, it's a free download and what the, what the free download is going to allow you to do is go ahead and scan those areas of your computer that you want to scan to determine if the files can be recovered and there's no there's no cost to do that at all so you want to make sure that you know so you can make sure that the files are actually there so um, the other reason I like this software is is because there's a lot of there are some free versions of software out there um, a lot of times they require um, you know, for you to install a toolbar, or they may install some type of adware, or things like that. And you know, I, I don't. I prefer just to to work with uh, companies that are more reputable. Um, the Pareto Logic that uh, does this software is a Microsoft partner, as you can see on this page, and they're also accredited by the Better Business Bureau. So um, I, I, f I feel comfortable working with them and. I've used the software and the software works great so and that's the bottom line so the first thing you want to do is go ahead and uh, download and install the software and then I'll walk you through uh, how I use it software um, you go ahead and launch it and this is what you'll see this is the first page and you'll notice over here on the left that there's there's some tabs there's one uh, that says scan there's one that's advanced one that's email um, we're gonna be concerned with the scan or the advanced tabs emails only if you're trying to locate uh, an email file so um, in, in this case if you're doing an entire drive you can do just do the quick scan um, if you or I'm sorry not the entire drive but actually the entire computer and it'll scan it everything and give you a list of all all the files um, it is, does say quick scan but it does take about you know depending on the size of the file I mean when I've run it it's take maybe 10 or 15 minutes um, I like to use the uh, advanced tab here so let's click on that because you can be a little bit more specific about you know where you want to find the files so in, in this case you could search for a specific file name here if you just want to look for one file that you're missing um, and then areas to scan what I do is I this it'll it'll scan as deep as you want it to go basically and all these all when these are all checked that means you're gonna do a really deep scan so I typically on my first scan is I unselect all these except for a recycle bin. It just allows the scan to run quicker and a lot of times the file is there anyway. So if you run a scan this way and you don't see the file that you're looking for, you can go back and run this. But then you'll have to just kind of go do something else for a while while it runs the scan because it takes a while. And then in the bottom part here where it says mounted volume shows all your drives and all the different drives that you can use. So you know depending on what you want to do like in this case we're just gonna go ahead and run it um, okay we're just gonna do it on this L drive here so we're not gonna do any of these other drives so I'll uncheck those and then just hit start scan okay and it'll show you um, I guess I did have that other drive check, but that's fine. <clears throat> in this case, what we're seeing is on that L drive, it groups them by images, documents, or whatever. So you can, you know, you can do, you know, by individual documents, by images. So in this case, you know, if we wanted to recover this one, in fact, it gives you a little uh, mouse over to show you what, what the image is in case you need to see that. And then you just select what you want to select, or you can select all. 
and then hit the recover button. Now when you hit the recover button, it will require you to register the software in order to recover the files. So again, we did the free scan to see if the files are recoverable. If they are, then you'll have to register it um, to in order to recover the files. So I think it's around $29 as of the recording of this video, uh, which is really a, a good deal compared to some of the other software that I've looked at um, that's been you know in the $100 range. And again, you know, I've worked with free software, and I just don't get the results I want out of that, or I don't like the fact that I have to do uh, adware type stuff. So anyway, that's uh, how you recover your files, and uh, good luck.